Hello, my name is Logan and I'm your host, The Mighty Pirate. In today's video, we're going to talk about The Hunchback. The Hunchback was originally introduced in 2572 and it was designed to be a close range city fighting mech. With 10 tons of armor, two medium lasers, an AC-20, and a small laser, it does this job very admirably. Uh, as long as it sticks to cover, it's able to combat mechs much larger than itself. The drawback of this is, is that the Hunchback doesn't move particularly fast, and because of its arsenal, it's often prioritized by enemy mech commanders to be disabled. Uh, if for some reason the AC-20 is uh, disabled by combined fire, it will leave the Hunchback essentially without its main armament, and that can be basically a death sentence. The play style of the Hunchback made it very popular as an all-or-nothing mech. However, with that style of combat, it made the Hunchbacks very scarce for parts. Uh, one of the original manufacturer for the Hunchback was destroyed early on and so you will see that the Hunchback has 22 different variants and that sort of to represent how often people would take their Hunchback and change it out for a more reliable or more readily available replacement parts. This is where you'll see a variant such as the Swayback. The Swayback replaced the AC-20 with two missile racks. Uh, both SRM variant with two SRM-6s and an LRM variant with two LRM-10s. So it, after the Helm Memory Core was found, uh, there was a mass production of Hunchbacks, um, and they were utilized over the entirety of the Inner Sphere from 3042 on. Uh, the Word of Blake made a specific variant called the 5P, and the Hunchback 5P was, has six ER medium lasers, two medium pulse lasers, and double heat sinks, ECM, and a C3 slave targeting computer. So it was the armored fist of the Word of Blake being useful in lances of any buildup. Uh, the Hunchback 5P wound up being one of the better variants of that era. Uh, there was another uh, Hunchback variant that I thought was kind of fun to mention, uh, another Solaris mech, uh, the Quasimodo. It was a retrofitted Hunchback that wound up being five tons more. Had, And w the reason why it's notable is that it beat a clan assault mech in 1v1 combat. And it was just sort of a story that, you know, like uh, the more skilled pilot winds up overcoming the odds of the less skilled pilot, even though the less skilled pilot has a way better mech. So that was uh, just kind of a fun little side story on there. Uh, I found there was a Hunchback variant that had Goss built into it. And the reason why it didn't see mass introduction was because it had an issue with it knocking itself over, like the prototype Goss had such a heavy recoil that it would knock the Hunchback on its back and so never saw widespread use. Anyway, that's what I gotta say about the Hunchback. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope the volume is better in this one. If there's still problems, let me know and I will update it again on my next video. Thank you and have a good night.